<laughs> oh, what twisties are you talking about? We all hear the argument that uh, these big bikes, these Hayabusa's, these Kawasaki's, all they are is just for straight line drag bike and they're useless. It's just for people who want to show off. All right? My 600 will kill them in the twisties. Only 600 will kill them at the track. Yeah. How often are we at the track? Right? How often are we in the twisties? I mean, really, tell me. Think about it. You as a biker. And I'm not saying all of us are, but in general, when's the last time you were riding? Think about how much of that time you were in the twisties. How much of that riding were you in the twisties, right? How much of that riding were you at the track? I don't think people think about this stuff when they say it. So if you're wondering, you know, you will listen to your buddies, maybe you haven't, maybe you haven't bought a bike yet. And what they say sounds logical, yet, yeah, but I want something that handles really, really well. In the twisties. Okay. A 600 out of every other bike will probably, will handle the best. True. But, how often are you going to be in the twisties? And, how hard are you really going to be riding that thing? I mean, the twisties are great. And I, I actually, I've seen people ride these leader bikes in the twisties. You just have to, it takes more skill. Yes, I said it. All those guys who talk about killing big bikes in the twisties, it's easier on a smaller bike. So how much skill do you really have if you're doing it on a small bike? Try it on a big bike. Try it on a big, huge, heavy bike. Tell me how much skill you got. But you guys who haven't rode before, maybe thinking about buying a leader bike, I thought, I, honestly, I ride a booster, right? But for the average rider, I believe a thousand is a perfect blend of power and handling. Perfect blend. You get everything you need. You get the power, you get the handling. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy a 600. I'm just saying that if you are considering buying a thousand, and some of your buddies are saying, no, you shouldn't, it's gonna buy. Don't listen to them. Because that argument doesn't really hold, hold up. Most of us, most of us spend the majority of our time hanging out the freeways, hanging out the streets, commuting, going to a buddy's house. How much of that involves twisties? A twisty, windy road. You know, I had somebody in the comment was like, uh, I told him I rode a booth. Oh, this guy sucks. I had this guy in the comments tell me, yeah, you can ride that boost up, but let's see you ride that thing in the, on the tail of the dragon or blah, blah, blah. Some other, some other street I've never heard of. Okay, I'm going to travel all the way to the West Coast to a specific road. Even when I was in California, I didn't have time to go to the dragon. How often am I going to hit a road like that? Really? If you live around that area, you are a fortunate person. You are very fortunate. And I don't mean that sarcastic. You are fortunate enough to have a road that's free, that you can go on and practice your skill every single day. I don't have that luxury. So why am I worried about buying a bike that is excellent in the twisties, but which I never have? <laughs> I mean, really. What is up with traffic right now? It is on pop. Those guys are just telling you that because they're trying to defend their, their, their ownership of a less powerful bike. It makes them look good to make us look stupid for buying these things like, oh, uh, we just want to show off. We can't even handle these bikes. We, these bikes are for people who don't know how to ride. That's not the case. There are people who can't ride on all types of bikes. 
A lot of us buy these bikes because they're powerful. We want power. We want comfort and we like the look of it. It's that simple. It's just that simple. Sure, there are people who want to show off. There's people like that on every type of bike. That's not why I bought this bike. And they want to tell you that, oh, you're not going to use all that power. Yes, you will. I do. All my buddies do. They do. So, don't, don't listen to them. That, that, that burns me up. I hate all those guys on, on YouTube talking about stuff that they don't know about and get other people to believe it. And the funny part is they're not even riding a leader bike. They don't have experience riding a leader bike. I'm not talking about I rode it one day. I'm talking about really knowing about a leader bike. Look, you see me riding this thing, and you see me riding 600. I know what I'm talking about. You, if you don't trust me, just go back. Just go back and look at the videos where I'm riding my 600 in California, and listen to what I say about the bike. My, my thoughts ain't changed. I ain't flip flopping like cycle cruising. <laughs> That's my piece, y'all. I'm out.